Well, welcome everyone to the Pantheon. I'm your host, Ray. And I'm Evie. And Evie, what were your thoughts on the series Legion, season two? Um, interesting. Kind of looked like in the future mm-hmm. with a whole bunch of um, weird people in it. Um, you know, them kind of, you can't really relate mm-hmm. because I guess, I don't know. Well, you know, these these people, I would like feel sorry for, you know, because they're, yeah, because they're not well. And they were like set um, to the side, you know, like they're just um, on their own. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And the story kind of just clumped together. You know, it's these people helping these people and such. It was okay, but I wasn't, it really wasn't. Yeah, it was okay. okay. Yeah, this, this movie, oh, sorry, this, this, this season. Um, well, here's what I'll say when you look at the character of David. Um, in the first season, he ha- he's a person who suffers from schizophrenia. Uh, he hears voices mm-hmm. in his head. Uh, this one is, he's actually more clear, clear, clear minded. I mean, he's still sick. He ha- he's not exactly. 100 percent cure he's like you can't cure him uh but like he's in, throughout i think through the body of this season uh he's clear-sighted like you're not you not he's not having too many episode episodes you know you know with uh and with the removal of the entity that makes him evil it's which is removed from him so we can speak of reveal is because that's the whole premise of season one was uh we were given the introduction of a villain the shadow king uh mm, farouk yeah and he was in David's head, and now he's been exercised, and he's now in the body of Oliver. And Oliver is another like psychic uh, mutant, and he's and the so the, the 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 body of this series is trying to find the Shadow King, you know. So that's mm. that's how it starts off, and that's how we pursue this season. Uh, like the very first image we see is Oliver and Lenny, who's uh, in a pool. You know, and if you didn't watch the series, and that's the first thing you see, it actually has without the context app, it means absolutely nothing to anybody. And then when you, but if you if you've seen the finale of season one, then you you realize, oh my gosh, this is like, oh okay, you're seeing the what the, the the aftermath of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when you, then as the series prog- as this season progresses, uh, you realize because something Lenny says we're trapped. Uh, it's it's actually more in depth it's a much more in depth story and we're seeing this guy with sunglasses on and you're not like who's this guy you don't know <laughs> what you're watching and the 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 issue with not the issue the thing with this series is that if i had to write notes for every episode going into this to try to like break it down it would be a giant novel it'd be like watching it'd be like writing war and peace every single like four or five minutes of of, of um the episodes so many things happen it's like the thing with the um, season one is because he is a person who's schizophrenic and he was an un- untrustworthy narrator because what he what he's saying you're looking at it through his lens and because he's he can't see things on a on a cl- on a clear like linear path um therefore when we watch the mo- watch the series the story is not straightforward is because we're seeing it through a person who has a mental, who has mental um, health conditions. You know, mm-hmm. uh, this one is no different. We're, we are going back and forward in time. The narrator is sort of trustworthy, but now we're going through. We're going back and forward in the future. We're going back in time. You're getting, you're getting like certain like trippy. Uh, you're getting a narr- You have an, an outside narrator now who discusses things about delusion, which is kind of educational about delusion or conspiracy or you know like certain like uh, motifs of what the episode's going to be about and uh it's it's i won't say confusing but it's confounding because there's so many moving parts to this and every episode it, like s- branches out into its own thing how are you with the characters because certain characters uh, as the story progresses i mean um the storylines open up for these characters however uh, so not all characters have a good, cl- uh, cl- have a, I guess, 
in my opinion, would be a satisfying closure to it. So how are you uh, with the series? For example, like the black guy, uh, you know, he kind of goes, he joins the machine. Corey, that's a Bill Irwin's character. Like, I mean, he builds up a machine, but it's kind of like, uh, it leaves you open-ended. So like, what are you, what are your thoughts with certain characters? Um, I, I just really feel bad for them, you know? Um, and they just try and survive. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, yeah, it was an okay series. Uh, yeah, it was a, an okay series. That's all right. I, yeah, it was okay. Okay, then my only question to you is, okay, so they finally answered the question of Legion, because the whole, the, sto the story is called Legion. He is Legion. Mm -hmm. To, do you understand, when they say Legion now, do you understand what they're saying, like what, they, what it means to them? Um, to be honest with you, no. <laughs> mm. It was okay, you know, story was good. But yeah, it was okay. And what do you think about Shadow King? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, like, it was okay, you mm. know, story was all right. Um, but yeah, I just feel pity for them. Um, why, because, why do you say pity? Like, why? Well, they actually have to go on through their life, you know, mm -hmm. always trying to survive, mm -hmm. you know, because some sometimes they're fighting or or they or they don't know what they're saying or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, it was. I don't know. I just felt pity for them, you know, because it seems like a struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, it, for this for this series, the this, the 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 story arc for this series is the Shadow King. Do you agree with that? Like, it's to find the Shadow King. It's to stop the Shadow King right. and to save yeah. Oliver. But they had to find Oliver because he's out in the wind. Yeah. So now, seasons one and two sets up the builds a character. You see, see where he came from, like why he is the way he is. You feel empathy for the character, and then now we're going to see: uh, is he the, is he a hero? What is his destiny to be? And if you don't know the comic book character, his destiny is going to be revealed in season three. So that's something. If you want to see how this plays out, the final season will play it out. I've not seen it. I have absolutely zero like idea what to expect. Um, it makes me interested. But like you, it may not be that, you know, it may not be all that great. It could be just something like just a confusing pile of mess too. So um, on that note, I'm Ray. I'm Evie. We'll talk to you later.